What's going on? It's Feedback Friday number two. My name is Luan. I'm a professional musician and live streamer. Uh, we have got a free music school where students can jump in and share their performances, productions, things like that. And I give them live feedback. I graduated from Berkeley College of Music, Magna Cum Laude, in song, majoring in songwriting. So whatever I can do to help you guys achieve your goals in music, I'm here. So today we worked through a demo of Jake's. We worked through Simon was working on a singing and playing guitar. Uh, and so if you guys are into getting into performing and doing that kind of stuff, and then maybe some demo production and arrangement, you'll love it. So catch you guys in the next one. We are now jumping into the Feedback Friday segment, our second one of the year. We are doing this. All right, Jake Hanks, you are number one. Sorry, I got to remember the I got to remember the rules. You are not number 1, but you're the first person to post, so I appreciate it. But it goes by order of levels. So Simon, you are the first person to go. So the higher the level, the higher priority you get. So make sure you're posting in the community to get a high level. By the way, throwing up a like, throwing up a like. Look at you. He's getting points. All right. Simon, let's do it. My stupid mouth. Hey guys. How are you? Simon, you're breaking the rules. You're breaking the rules, bro. You're not allowed to talk to us. Wait, so recently, not the one, gross audio, so I have someone can handle, like some feedback on singing and performance in general. Some of what I talk about in the end, the strumming and chords hits. All right. Yo, bro. Um, so I haven't been uploading for quite a while. So quiet. In the school community. Unfortunately, this Friday I had a gig and it got canceled for me. Your gig got canceled? I'm proud of you, dude, for grinding out your songs. Simon, have you been, uh, I don't know, Simon, are you in the chat right now? Have you been um, checking out different people and watching, the, watching them play and writing down all of their song list stuff? proud of you Simon good job I know it, it's work man I, like hopefully you you now you know what it feels like it's the grind nice song Brad have you heard oh are you talking about the Sabrina Carpenter the other day you went with Nacho to four different bars bro I'm proud of you man let's go dude you guys are going to be making money so soon it's going to be great I'm looking forward to it so you can pay for gear and do all that stuff and it's going to be awesome just don't buy heaps of nice clothes. That's all I can say. We got to the next stage. Oh, very nice. It's a French restaurant. Now you're going to learn La Vie en Rose. See, the cool thing about those ones, you might be like those ones, you'll be able to do a bunch of cool stuff with Nacho where you can improvise with him. Like you can do a bunch of like back and forth, cool guitar stuff. Um, people will love that. It will sound very, very cool. Especially if you're doing duo guitar stuff. Um, people just love that cool kind of shit. Like learning like Layla, um, learning a lot of those like really, really big um, guitar songs where like Nacho can play the guitar solos and you can just focus on the rhythm and lay it down really good for him. Is that a guitar pick I see in your hand? Or are you just using your thumb?
All right, cool. So far, so good. Dude, your vocal rhythm is getting really, really clean and your guitar playing is getting really good with the rhythm. I wouldn't hold anything against you on that one. The, the tone stuff, the, the stuff of your vocal is going to improve over time. Like just as you sing more and more, that stuff's going to happen. That's crushing. If we're going to nitpick on the, on the singing, start smiling. I want to see what it feels like for you to over-articulate because um, right now you're saying subject change and, that, and it's sort of social tragedy. There's not a lot of movement in your mouth. So especially because English isn't your first language, you're going to want to over-articulate everything because remember that you're competing, your sound is competing against Americans. So you want to jump in. Um, my stupid mouth. So get like every single word, every single syllable out of there and give it a shot. Um, if you jump in, my stupid mouth has got me in trouble. I said too much this time. Like really, like you, you can see how I feel like really weird. I, and it, cause as well as like, you're gonna learn to drop your jaw Brad, we'll see you soon, man. Stay safe. Um, you're going to drop your jaw as well. Like, you got to learn to not, like, you want to let your jaw drop so there's not a lot of tension. And then you're going to be opening up your mouth cavity or whatever. And that's going to help your tone as well. Uh, but just, just straight off the bat, I think that's going to be like a huge fix for you to test out. Like, that's practice. When you're performing, obviously lean into what you're comfortable with. I don't want you to be going crazy. But even me when I'm singing at the moment or even when I'm talking, I'm trying so hard to make sure that I'm not keeping the, the, the words in my mouth because that's what we do. That's a, uh, an Australian thing. Australians are super lazy talkers, um, so they won't articulate things very clearly. Kind of quietly since it's late at night and people are... Dude, you did fantastic, but it sounds great so far. That is a really big change that you can do that's going to be like a, like a night and day difference for you, you'll notice. Like, another, you went, another, another, you see, another, another, you're like pursing your lips kind of thing. It's another, another, ooh, another. Ah, another social tragedy. So you can see the different vowel sounds. If you just change your vowel shape to be more correct towards the vowel sounds that you're singing, your tone is going to sound much better. If you, if you notice that, that's going to be like a, a straight up game changer. Because tone varies... Like the variation of your tone is, com dude, it's a normal thing. Like everyone does it. I do it all the time. It's something that like my vocal coach like pulled me up immediately. It was like, oh yeah, so you kind of like sound shit because you're not changing your vowel sounds. And I was like, ah, check. Uh, but it's really hard to do. Like it's really hard to be present and do this kind of stuff. But uh, that's, that's one thing I would do. That will be a huge tone change. And then the other thing you got to remember is you're being very relaxed on the guitar and I'm super proud of that. That's very, very chill. Keeping in time is very relaxed. It's good. You're thinking, <laughs> look at the stop that I got. He's like, oh my God, I'm about to sing the next note. <laughs> what a pause. Fuck yeah. What a great, what a great little shot of Simon there. It's really hard to get a bad shot of Simon. And even that's not even bad. You know, I think a lot of us would like wish we looked like that. Anyway, that's enough for me bromancing. Uh, but yeah, the guitar playing is fantastic. I'm super proud of you on that side. And just remember, like, because you are doing a lot and John Mayer is doing a lot on the guitar side, a lot of your energy and thinking will go into that until it's not there. Like once that is like fully like locked down, you won't have to think about chord changes, where your hand's going, all those things. That will give you more bandwidth for your brain to handle the lyrics. So... When you notice that you're going to focus more on the vowel sounds and the lyrics and articulating syllables and things like that, you will notice that your guitar playing will suffer, but um, it's worth the trade-off 
but eventually both will rise to the occasion you don't think about those things because they become habit. Like you were closer. I guess, I guess it was, I guess. It just sounds like you're afraid, but that's it. That's it. Like, I think if there's, we could go into more stuff, but I think that's it. I think we're good. I think that's huge. I think you do that, come back next week with some more stuff. I reckon do those changes over the next week. Your voice is going to sound so much better. Look at you getting the notes, man. You're getting all the high notes too. I'd rather be a mystery than all again. You don't leave. I'm proud of you, man. If you're trying to synth- if you're trying to like get um wait, see the chorus because the is that the chorus? Sorry, I'm tired. Is this cool? Dude, that sounds fantastic, bro. Wealth Kings is on YouTube now. What's up, Wealth Kings? You were on kick and now you moved over to YouTube. What a ledge. Uh, I'm never gonna... Dude, that sounds fantastic, man. Like... Don't be mad about, don't be mad about the notes. I think you might be a bit insecure. Uh, is the insecurity coming out from like it's a high note? You feel like it's not great. That's fine, man. When you heard John Mayer first start doing that, um, oh, you're Jake Hanks. Oh, sweet. Oh, dude, we're about to do do your thing in a sec. Let's go, Jake. I love that you're here. I didn't realize you were going to be here for the for the feedback. Let's go. Um, okay. So basically, sorry, I had to fix TikTok. TikTok was saying I am AFK and I am not AFK TikTok. Stop telling me that I'm being inactive in my streams. I hate it every time. Anyway. Uh, so, bro, that's great. Like, I don't... Like I was saying... Oh, by the way, I keep forgetting. My bad. We're on, we're on talking mode. I've got to turn off my God voice. All right, is that better? There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I don't have to listen to reverb. Doesn't sound like I'm in a fucking concert hall. Um, yeah, it's great. I would say the big change you want to make um, is just going to be that. Just get in, focus on the vo- the vowel sounds, and move around for every vowel sound that you've got. And I think that's going to be a great pivot. Um, and then see where you're at from there. When you're making changes to your playing, don't stress about like everything that's wrong. Because if we look through all of our playing, we're always going to find many things that are wrong. I know the many things that are wrong with what we do and especially what I do. Um, like I'll I'll rewatch the VODs to pick out clips for you guys for YouTube and I'll be like, man, that's garbage, that's garbage, that's garbage. But I'm like, and then I'm conscious about like, okay, next time I want to make sure that I am a bit more aware of x problem and then I, I fix that one and then you find another problem so as you like fill the holes in your playing there'll, there'll be more things that you become more aware of and then you will just like take them one one at a time so for you just syllables um and articulating the vowel sounds is just like accent every single word you say and you shall be good and even if that, you have to make it staccato do that and then what you'll do is Practice for like 10 minutes doing it that way and then sing the song normally. Practice for 10 minutes doing it that way, then sing the song normally. Like you just, you don't want to do, use it as an exercise and then you will build up to it. Don't be like, oh my God, the one says I have to do this. I have to do this every time. Um, You can do that. I'm pretty crazy like that, but um, there's no reason you have to go crazy like that. Alex the Beast, what's up? So Alex the Beast and I have a very, very special relationship. He saw me defeat my first Lionel on Zelda, Breath of the Wild. I never killed a Lionel before then, and he watched me do it. And then he sang Gravity for us on stream. So I'm super proud of Alex. Thank you. All right. Let's go back. All right. So Simon's got it up here. 
and Caleb's on here next. All right, cool. We're going to do Caleb. Um, and then we will do, uh, we'll do Jake after that. So the centaur dude. Yeah. The centaur dude with the bow and he like kills you every time in one shot. Yeah. And then after I beat one, I was like, man, I can kill all of them now. I'm like so good. <laughs> all right. A little bit off, but you, you crush time. Wanted to loop all this, but here it is together. All right. Dude, it's like 14 seconds. You're like, Paul David's riff. All right, let's hear it. Let you adjust the audio. Okay. Adjust the audio and then do it again. And then let me know what you want out of it. Maddie, what's up? How we doing? All right. Okay. Time for Jake Hanks. Let's, let's, uh, and if you guys are jumping in here, my name's Luan. I'm a live streamer. Um, we're doing feedback Friday. So we've got a free music school for people online. Uh, I have heaps of free online education stuff and I give feedback to the people in our community on what they're working on. All right, Jake, uh, let's go. You don't think the pieces fit. Okay. Let's have a listen. So, Jake, what are you hoping for to get out of this? Just when you do it, um, you want to see my thoughts so far. Uh, and just let me know in the comments while I listen what you're hoping to get out of it. Like, like, are you wanting clarity on court harmony or are you wanting like arrangement ideas? Arrangement, you think? Okay, cool. Let's have a listen. Cool. By the way, cool melody right off the bat. Very simple. I like it. that little uh, uh. okay cool so what is your goal with this song uh, by the way are you just like wanting to make it like a soundscape like because depending on context on how you want it like do you want to write lyrics to this and have a singer go over the top of it um because some parts will will not work for that and then some parts like if you're just wanting to like create a cool soundscape and have a vibe this sounds great fine line the other day oh i didn't do that one maddie uh maddie after i finish feedback friday i'll do it so if you've got like if you if you come back in like 20 30 minutes i will definitely be able to do it for you um You like to put lyrics over, but I want an instrumental section, kind of. I mean, this is really, really cool. You wanted to practice making beats, really. Dude, well, I would say you absolutely crushed from the sense of, like, making beats.
Okay. So then now you, the the only I was trying to figure out where you were at. So you got you're doing six, four. That's a great progression. Six, four, three, five. Sounds great, man. Uh, you want the acoustic section to... So, wait, this... This part. So what, it's because I'm really bad at picking out harmonies just right off the bat, and I think you're doing something cheeky here. Lachlan, what up? It's like a really nice live that uh, It's like when you're doing that that uh you doing like that six chord avoid that note there so if you're going to do this and like keep it chill so the thing that i think you're feeling is disconnecting is because you're bringing out that note that note there The tricky stuff with writing is you can pretty much do anything you want, but there's like a note there that's creating a lot of dissonance. If you wanted to pick what you want to be your chorus first is what I would say. Because if you go... Like say you're going to get a rapper who comes in do You 
do something like that. So you would use that like acoustic thing as like a as like a as like a break and then just write a chorus and then see if you get like a rapper and then someone to like do like a vocal thing. I reckon that would be like fucking cool. I, does does that help Wealth Kings like when it comes to arrangement because like you want to you don't want to go crazy on like what the when you're writing beats like I can't I can't tell you like how to write beats. I don't write beats for people. But what I can say is the easier you make the music for someone to go over the top of, the easier you make it to collaborate, the better the song. Guaranteed. And if you're going from a point of collaboration, make it super, super simple. So that that little acoustic thing that you have there, right there, you saw how quick that was. Just make it as like a pivot and like literally script it that way. Um, like that's your bridge. So you got that. And then you can bring your electric guitar and it's like... And then just doing like a six, so you'd be, because you'd be going from a C minor, and then you'd go to a an F minor, and then your A flat, B flat. It would sound fat. And then you could just bring the whole, like, that would be clean. And then the, the only thing, because you've gone, then you go to somehow come like... You'd have to try and find a way to pivot back from there. So the hard thing there is going from the... Getting that melody note to come back into the... groove that you had there was yeah so then all you would do there is so you like you do that um and then you would come into the the verse again. And then do, yeah, I reckon that's it. I reckon that would be your thing. So you just got to add a chorus, which I would just do a 6, 2, 4, 5. So a C minor, F sharp, uh, sorry, C minor, F minor, um, A flat major, and then B flat major. And then that would be your chorus. That would sound pretty fat. And then you could just jump in and do that. And then just see if you, it like, even when you heard me doing the little rappy thing, just fucking YOLO, man. Just grab a mic and just like, peanut, 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 butter, 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 yeah, butter, 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 butter. And then just like, do, do, da, do, do. Like, just whatever you want to do. Just jump in and just like, totally just like, if you can, if you can map out like what you're hearing in your head, even if it sounds like garbage, and then give it to someone who's really good, 
like a great rapper or like a friend of yours that might be a rapper or a friend of yours that is a singer and be like, hey, man, I just want to like make a song. It'll be pretty fun Um, because a lot of these people need inspiration. And if you can just map it out and it sounds cool, um, it'd be great because then, yeah, you can just go ham. But otherwise, like soundscape wise, if you just did this song, right, if you just did it like this. Like if we just vibe in. So like if you were like, oh, the goal is just to have like a soundscape, you can see how anyone can jump on it who has some experience. It sounds cool. Did you guys like that, that vibe? So that's just me improvising over the top of whatever you did. And um, it sounds cool. Like I could vibe to that. But so already off the bat, you've got something that people wouldn't hate. So the... The struggle for a lot of people who are producing beats and things like that is they just don't know how to make something that's easy to play to. That's easy to play to. So all you want to do is cut that little acoustic section that you have here. Like if you want to turn this into a song, like right now, it is a beat. Like I could just sit there and shred over it and have fun and it would be great. Um, yeah, like I could just sit and just shred over that and no stress, but if your goal is like, hey, I actually want to compose a song and I want to add collaborators, then that's your that's your move. Your move is to turn like this is this is like you have your little intro for like like actually make that intro like five seconds. Don't make it long. Make it like two or three seconds. You just want to jump in for the first like three to like one to seven one to five seconds is the only amount of intro you need, and then you jump into the the. Is it? So that needs to be only short. And now this is the prep for the ho, ho. And you bring a rapper in, ho, ho. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, we do. Where are you? You could, you could die. And then they jump in and they do their little verse. And then they're like, like Jay Z and Linkin Park, you know? No one, no, 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 whatever Jay Z does. You find like someone who could do that, like the Jay Z Linkin Park thing. And then you could get an actual vocalist to sing over this. And then you'd go into your chorus there and then that would be a chorus and then then you finish your chorus and you go straight into this and then the rapper comes back in for verse two that's how i would write this song and it would be a fun song and it'd be listenable totally listenable and you would just go one rap verse pre-chorus singer and then chorus and then want another rap verse pre-chorus, sing a chorus, and then you would just have like a and then you just rip a mad, then you rip another chorus, so you do the like and then you would come into another chorus, but that chorus, you would just have a fucking mad guitar solo, and then it would go into another chorus with the singer, so that's how I would do it, if you were wondering how, if there was a a blue blueprint on how you would write a song from this idea that you have that's how i would do it 
And if uh, it becomes a hit song, just let us know. Would be dope. <laughs> if you like that idea, let me know. It'd be pretty cool. All right, let me just double check. That wasn't an important tab. All right, sweet. Okay, now let's go back here and have a look. <laughs> Literally, comment, you're so handsome. Oh my God, thank you so much. <laughs> That's what my mom says. You got it? All right, Wealth Kings, good luck, man. Hopefully you, you crank it. Hey, thank you so much for sharing. It was That was pretty cool. I like that. All right, I don't know what I'm meant to be listening here. Caleb, what's the what's the part of this that you need help with? Um I don't have context on how I can help you. So It's off. You're sorry. <laughs> it's um it's a Paul David's riff or something, Caleb. Don't worry then. Well, either way, don't we'll we'll just do another just next week. You just post if you want. But if there's like is there some some form of like what was the objective of sharing this is my question. Oh, okay. So you're writing a melody and then Just something he wrote over some chords. So you're trying to replicate what he did. So one thing that might help you out with the, the rhythm is I would remove your delay effect and then just practice getting it super tight without the delay effect. Dun, dun. And then add your delay effect afterwards um, and experiment with the delay and see how it affects your timing. Because I think the delay is throwing you off, especially in recording. Because um, when you're recording, it'll be quite tricky. And the, there's a trick to delay as well. You don't want to just YOLO delay. Yeah, yeah, you record them separately. Yeah, that's tricky, man. Yeah. Well, the best way, once I have my content creator course, you'll know how I use Ableton, uh, and then that should help you a lot because in Ableton, you can just set a click track and then just like arm the recordings. And then if you, on like on any door that you have, you will be able to jump in and do it that way. So it should be good. It should be good. Hypothetically, it should be good. But um, yeah, dude. I mean, I love it. it rega regardless, I love that you did this. So remember that this is a loss. This is you you jumping in and failing, and I'm so proud of you. So great job, because uh, you need a lot more of these. You've been you've been having too many wins. It's annoying me. It's annoying me that you're just going out there winning every time. You're just like taking in what I tell you, and then you just like straight up slay. So yes. We all need we all need moments where we're like, I've got this idea, I'm gonna do it, and then it doesn't work, and then you're like, oh fuck. And then um you need that. So they they keep you humble, dude. <laughs> but I'm proud of you. Uh so it technically is a win. Um, but uh yeah. Just keep experimenting with it. Just take the time to learn it. Cause as the sooner as you learn the skill of getting your recordings done correctly, um, you're gonna that's a whole new You've just built a brand new like avenue for yourself to get better. So that's great. All right. Well, that concludes our Feedback Friday. So is Maddie still in the chat?